the next housemate to be evicted from the Big Brother Niger No Lose Guard house is Handy Sean TJ that you went on a rant uh, in the closet you used the words calling Cassia vile you said she was wicked you said you don't even know if she's a human being how did you get to that point it's a banger guys you all tiri has met we are evicted from the big brother ninja season 9 as today and they are andy sean and tj hmm. i was really surprised because i did not expect i was like okay maybe biggie wants to do like more than tiri evictions but at the end of the day only three as mates were evicted from the ass and sean and andy they were among like seriously other fan base are already dragging them online they are already dragging wani x andy fans and um sean's fans other fan base we all know the fan base yeah they are already dragging them online people are happy or obviously people that are not their fans they are happy that oh finally sean is too proud this and that he thinks he thought he's the one carrying um victoria in the ass now he has left before victoria he will come out and watch victoria this and that and this own yeah people did not really like drag andy like that but they were like laughing at wani saying oh you've left you've left you people saw reasons with our own they were like okay they had to remove andy for wani to stay yeah but that did not stop other fan base from mocking them like they are making mockery of them though wani fans and wani x and D, their fans they have something to defend themselves with they were like oh yes we had to let andy go we had to let andy go yes that is it we had to let andy go for wani to win the money this and that but double k fans are saying that oh you people are not capable because when um cassia and kelly ray was up we saved both of them like we wanted to save both of them and we did but one ex and the fans are saying that no they if they wanted to they would but they do not want to save andy that it's time for andy to go so that all focus would be on one yeah that aside they are dragging sean sean hey sean fans all of them they just hide <laughs> i never hear anything from sean fans all of them hide because they are double k we all know how sean really thought that double k they are not strong Double K fans are dragging him. Uh, Victoria fans are dragging him. Um, some of Wani's fans, they are also dragging him, saying that he like now Wani will con Wani will concentrate on the game, this and that. I was like, ah, this is shocking, no guys. It is shocking. Let us not forget that nine assmates were up, and we had the assmates up for eviction was um they were Sean, Victoria. Andy, Wani, Oyenka, Nelly, Anita, Cassia, and TJ. Yes, these housemates, these nine housemates, they were up for nomination. And guys, Anita and Nelly, they stayed. <laughs> it shocked me. It shocked me seriously. I was thinking maybe one of these pair would leave. Anita, maybe Anita would leave or Nelly would leave, but they stayed. The two of them stayed. Ah, I say, wow. Cassia, I know she would go nowhere. Yeah, obviously. Wani, I knew. Um, but Anita and Nelly, guys, <laughs> like they got more fans, like they got more votes than Sean and Andy. Um, uh, Wani has been done. She has been crying. Just imagine when her sister left, she was crying and Sean had to leave at the end. Guys, I know by now the housemate would be thinking that Wani isn't strong. They might be thinking that Wani isn't strong. To think that um, 
Anita was literally crying in the diary room today, saying that she will leave. She's going to be the one to leave. She's going to be the one to leave. Like she was repeatedly saying it. Big Brother had to like indirectly beef and had to force her to mention another person's name. Which one is uh, uh, Anita? Who do you think will be leaving tonight? Biggie is me. Biggie, Biggie said Anita mentioned another person's name. She was still insisting that she's the one that is going to leave. At the end of the day, she did not leave. Though Sean still said in the diary room that he thinks he will leave. Yeah, so obviously he thought so. But he mentioned Victoria and, and this name along. Guys, Onyinka. Onyinka is now strong. Let's talk about Onyinka. She is now strong. And I said this before the eviction today. Like people from South Africa, Ghana. Like she, the, the way she grew with a lot of fans i was like this girl is going to reach the final onyeka is going to reach the final because she now has fans this is not the onyeka that usually uh, ends up at a bottom four that like lowest no this is not the onyeka she has fans now she has fans now and that is good for her yeah people are really rooting for onyeka so um i think that is it that is shocking no that is it yeah uh let me talk about the table some of the table ebuka shake like ebuka shake some table i will be quick about it so ebuka started with suj he congratulated suj on winning the hoh obviously and after that he asked about he asked suj why suj was if why suj was if dropping on nelly and osi's conversation on thursday night and what did he hear? He said he told Sush to tell everybody what he heard. He's dropping on Nelly and Osi's conversation on Thursday night. And Sush said that uh, he was doing that because he did that because uh, Nelly was angry with him. Ebuka said why? He said because uh, Nelly thinks he did something wrong. Ebuka said, go straight to the point. He said uh, Nelly was mad at him for putting his hand on Victoria's shoulder when in, while he was discussing with Victoria. And Ebuka was like, but Nelly did not say that. Nelly did not say that. He was like, yeah. Uh, he said something like, okay. Um, he was talking with, he was having a conversation with Victoria and he had his hand on Victoria's shoulder. Then when he saw Nelly come in, he had to remove his hand and Ebuka asked him again, why did you have to remove your hand? He said, because he thought Nelly would feel uncomfortable seeing that. So he just had to remove his hand. And Ebuka was like, this Ebuka, he didn't find trouble. He said, he didn't find trouble. He was like, that means what you are doing is wrong. That means you putting your hand on Victoria's shoulder while discussing with Victoria was wrong. For you to remove your hand when you saw Nelly coming, thinking that she will feel uncomfortable. That means what you were doing was wrong. Abi is wrong. <laughs> So he said, no, Ebuka, no, Ebuka, I didn't do anything wrong, yeah? So Ebuka also moved to Kelly Ray. He talked about the meat issue Wani had with Kelly Ray. He said, Kelly Ray, you gave everybody one more meat. Why did you give and the one meat to share with Sean? And Kelly Ray said he doesn't remember giving and the one meat, that he thought he gave everybody two meats each that he doesn't remember giving Wani one meat to even share with someone. So Ebuka moved to Wani and was like, Wani, am I right? Wani said, yeah, at first when Kelly Ray was sharing the meat, he gave he gave everybody two two and he gave her one to share yet. But later on, after sharing, one was left and Kelly Ray came to give it to her again. And Ebuka said, okay, that clears everything. I was like, ah, ah. Wani, but this is not what you were saying, no. Or maybe she's not in the mood to like argue, to drag as a sister doctor mode. But that is not what and one to be honest, guys. I know she has a lot of fans. Hey, you both should not come for me. <laughs> Don't come for me. But to be honest, Wani lied. Wani changed her mouth. Like she changed the story. She said Kelly Ray gave her one minute to share with Sean. Sean was even correcting her that no, that that's not it. No, that she never said later. 
Kelime came to give her one meat when she was telling Andy. She never said that. She was so angry that Kelime had to give give her one meat to share with Sean after giving everybody two two pieces of meat. That that is disrespectful. That Kelime always does that. So I don't know why she could decide to change her motto after all those ranty. Hey, let's leave it at that too. Ebukasi talked about Kelly Ray. Ebukasi asked Kelly Ray about the strikes. The strike is wife, though he did not mention wife. His partner, Cassia, had. How did he feel about it? And he said he didn't feel good after watching that video. He told Cassia to go and apologize to Sean because Cassia was the cause. But Cassia said, no, she's not the cause. She's not the one that went to speak with Sean, that it was Wani that went to speak with Sean and she didn't tell Sean to contribute. So it is not a fault. Yeah. Now to the next one, Onyenka, Onyenka, Onyenka. So Ebuka moved to Onyenka and Ebuka was like, Onyenka, after the uh, Cassia has a shy saga drama that went on, you went ranting in the closet like you were in the closet ranting telling andy that um cassia is vile cassia was wicked you don't think that cassia is a human being why such words why did you have to use why did you have to use such words on ah why why like what happened and she started explaining herself she said after she heard that thing that parrot that the parrot said that made her look some ah she was in the heat and everything and and this and and he came to tell her that this is what cassia said cassia said that you said she has a child and all that 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 was so unfair of cassia cassia didn't have to say that at that point that cassia so it made it made her feel some ah uh, and Ebuka was like but cassia did not know that you we are not referring to ah uh, you didn't clear that with Cassia that, oh, Cassia, oh, so it's Ruthie. And, or later when you found that it's Ruthie, right? You didn't go back to meet Cassia. Oh, Cassia, the shite thing. So it's, so it's not you, it's Ruthie. Sorry, I didn't know all that, that you did not know. You did not like clarify everything with Cassia. So why are you not telling Andy that Cassia is wicked? She's vile. She, you don't think she's a human being when you know that your intention and how Cassia perceived everything were totally different. She was just trying to explain herself, you know, like Ebuka, that she was already angry with what Cassia said, saying that uh, she being friends with uh, Wani and Andy was a strategy, is a strategy, that, that her friendship with them is just a strategy, that she was already not cool with that, she was already angry with that. And now hearing Cassia say that which she thought it is not true even if it is true why do you have to say it at that moment when everywhere is already heated that that is why he had to say that and ebuka was shy on cassia's side this time he said but cassia did not know that you did not clarify anything with cassia so you didn't have to call her those names i was like ah at least this time they're not going to drag ebuka the last time they were dragging ebuka like cassia's fans double k fans they dragged ebuka eh, to the moon and back eh, saying that oh it's personal ebuka is in support of Oyenka. Oyenka is ebuka's favorite ebuka's wife is Oyenka fan this and that they ebuka collect dragging they went to his page social media page and they were dragging him continuously but now nah, it was on Cassia's side and everybody will be pleased. I'm sure Oyeka's fans, they are going to talk, but for now, they are mocking Sean and Andy. Yeah. So I think that is all for now. Please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Also, please like this video, click on the like button, share and comment.